legal background as far as being a radio talk show host. <laughs> so one of the things is it does keep you in touch with the customer as well because there's nothing holding them there to you. And there's always going to be another knock on the door. How about a sure. spot on? You know, you need to move on from spot on. Yeah. yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually challenge you on that. It's not normally a knock on the door. It's a phone call because most other companies out there don't have locally based reps. So it's somebody calling them from a call center in San Francisco or elsewhere. Um, you know, one of, one, of the, one of the things that we really aim to do as a company is have local representation in every state and in some cases in every city. Um, just using Virginia as an example, I think we have probably 10 reps. Because the reality is the, the needs of a business owner in, in Northern Virginia is quite different than Roanoke, which is quite different than Richmond. And we want to be able to be sure that we're supporting a business in a way um, that best represents what their priorities are. That is something to have somebody on the ground. Because, you know, like you're saying, you're thinking, I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt somebody's knocking. But a lot of times it, it is just a phone call and the person is chasing you down. All righty, so what's new and exciting that people could uh, expect out there with, with Spot On? Oh, my God. When the person goes, oh my gosh, hold up now. Yeah, yeah. So one of the things they're proud of is how many code writers they have. So they're always rolling out something new. So we're coming up with a, a, a really cool user interface, uh, the, the kiosk version of us, to add to the functionality. Uh, we're moving our handset into something really cool. They're coming up with way more uh, reports all the time and different ways to access them. Uh, I'm going to give you something a little bit less technical, but that I think is, is a huge priority for restaurants. Um, uh, not necessarily brand new, but when we stop by and we're talking with restaurant prospects or even our existing customers, uh, so Reserve, which we mentioned earlier, uh, allows uh, restaurant owners to be able to not only take reservations, wait list management, table management, all of the bells and whistles there, um, but then the other one that's, that's, a little more, uh, that's a little more new and exciting for all of us is teamwork which is, in essence, labor management for restaurants. Uh, we know that staff shortages and, and managing cost around staffing is really top priority for restaurants right now. Um, and so I, I can't think of a single business that we've talked to that aren't really excited to hear that they now have an all-in-one integrated solution with a restaurant point of sale, with their reservations, with their wait list, but now also with labor management that all ties in together. I had heard, I guess, word on the street, people were talking that the the labor shortage is getting better. Is that true? Is that what restaurateurs are saying to you guys? Or is yeah. it? No. I have yet to hear that. Although I think maybe with you know tools like teamwork that we offer, uh, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. But most businesses truly haven't fully bounced back. And I, I think the word on the street is that it's, it's, a, it's a constant issue right now. Because we've had the conversation before as a person who goes to the restaurant and not understanding the restaurant industry. When we go into a restaurant and we see empty tables and they say the wait list is, you know, it's a 30 minute wait. We're like, what? There's, but there's not an, and, they, and the other part they had schooled me on was it's not so much the staff that you see up front. It's what's going on in the back that there's no, we don't have enough people. Yep. And that's always a struggle. And I guess also explain to, this is for the non-restaurant folks, the, the margins are thin. You know, microscopic Very with, with yeah. uh, talk about that for a moment. Yeah, so I mean, after an owner pays for uh, rent, utilities, they've got labor, they've got uh, supplies. I mean, if they're doing six, eight cents on the dollar um, because they're so busy, how much time do they really have to sit down to figure out where they're bleeding? So the cool thing, another cool thing about our programs are we give them uh, real quick focus, where are you losing money?